we should log in with Oracle. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. First of all, we log in with Oracle applications. So here we should give the username and password. My username is demo90 and 123456 is my password. Now go to system administrator and here what is the navigation we should follow? Yes. Then here we have a navigation security responsibility defined. So already in the last class we completed the request group. Okay, this is the fourth step of registration steps. So directly we enter into the responsibility window. If in case if you close this one, we don't need to worry. Just go to this navigation and we open the responsibility window. So here we can give the our responsibility. So up to now how many responsibility we know? System administrator application level. Same like we are going to create our own responsibility. We are going to create our own responsible. Why? Because we want to run the report. Up to now we registered the report, right? So finally, we want to run the report. If you want to run the report, definitely we need to require responsibility. Okay? Without responsibilities, we can't possible to run the report. That is the reason, first of all, we want to define a responsibility and we'll be going to attach our request group to this responsibility. So what is the use of a request group? Uh, the request group it is a collection of concurrent programs right all concurrent programs are there in request group that request group will be connected with the responsibility automatically responsibility is access that concurrent programs and will be possible to run the program and will be possible to run the program that now I want to create a new responsibility a new responsibility here Suppose say example demo nine zero responsibility demo nine zero responsibility and application is here again here also we have a application field this application field is clearly told to us where exactly you want to create the responsibility but most important is executable and a concurrent program window. Interview point of also they are asking what is the difference between executable application and concurrent program application. But they don't ask any question on this responsibility and request group. And request group means where exactly we want to create the request group. Which application. And responsibility also which application you want to create the responsibility. Now I want to choose purchasing. Okay. The next here we have a responsibility key. Responsibility key is one of the unique one. It should maintain always unique data in our database. Okay, it does not allow the duplicate records. Suppose say example now I am giving 901. Next here we are giving the data group is we have only two groups in that one. We can choose always standard only. We can choose always standard only. Data group means it is a collection of menus. Collection of yes. menus. Okay. The different different applications is there. That menus will be there. Okay. And next we have a application. Okay. Again here we are going to specify application is purchasing. Next here we have a menu field. Okay. But right now we don't have any menu. So for that purpose here we should give the starting menu root for profile link defaultly you can choose this one okay I will explain to the next coming classes so how what is the menu how we want to how we create the menu and where we can go to create this menu what is the use of menu also that all will be discussed but defaultly we should use which which menu this I is root professional every person you should use that menu only. Menu means is nothing but a structure. It is a collection of functions. Collection of functions. Okay. The next here we have a request group. Observe this one. First of all I want to create it. Save the records. 
then automatically this wheel will be going to freeze it and this responsibility name at any point of time we can change it okay then once we completed the transaction from front end so we want to find out back end so what is the base table fnd responsibility tl then let us check it whether it is created or not fnd responsibility and where responsibility name like demo 90 this is our responsibility right and here observe this one it is a responsibility only in this responsibility table we don't have any request group id we don't have any request group id and also we have one more table fnd responsibility, responsibility. here we are using the id equal to 66080 responsibility id right but here we are going to find out request profile but still we don't have why because we didn't attach our request group to this responsibility now we want to attach it what is our request group demo 90 request group okay now click on okay save it don't give this one okay just we want to save here once it is completed and will be check it whether that request group id will be applicable or not automatically it will be reflected okay at any point of time we can change the request to okay from the front end application observe this one any point of time we can change different different request group also now this responsibility is possible to run the several programs which are attached to this request group how many concurrent programs are there any that all three programs we can possible to run from this responsibility from this responsibility all of you clear okay here so that request group what are the programs are there these are all programs we can possible to access from that responsibility why because that responsibility is attached to this request group okay so in this point of time you should develop a one assignment all of you clear so here this is the way we are possible to define the a new responsibility and attach